Hi guys, welcome back to another session of Salesforce. In this session of Salesforce, we'll be learning something about page layout. So what is typically page layout? Page layout is nothing but displaying different user interface to different users. So what is user interface? User interface is nothing but what we see is user interface. Let's take a account object. Let's click on new. All right. So what are you seeing right now is nothing but a user interface. So using page layout, you can edit this user interface. So let's take a look into how to get into page layout or not. So in the previous session, we have created record types. So let us jump into training and we go to fields. We come down a bit, you have page layout. So by default, when you create an object, there is a page layout that has been created automatically. So let's click on new right now. So what is a page, you know, name? So we have created two record types. So this I'll name it as IT and save. So this is how you get into the page layout. See, as you can see here, we have a couple of, op, you know, things over here. You have fields, you have buttons, you have quick actions. You have mobile and lightning actions. You have, you know, expanded lookups and everything, whatnot, related to less than all. So let's see what all things can be done using page layout. As you can see, you have few fields over here and, you know, we have created a few fields over here as well. See, you have training name as sample. You have created by, you just need to drag and drop it. It's very simple. Email that we have created. You can rearrange everything as per your needs. You see, it is damn simple. If you want to edit the buttons, you have few buttons over here. See, this is a standard button which are provided. Now you don't want this. You can just simply drop it there. As you can see, there is no sharing button over here. Change record type. You want to add submit for approval. You can add it over here. You don't want this printable view. Move it. You don't want sharing you can move it over here as well see as you can see here you have edit delete and clone so you can also change everything here you see you also have something called as quick actions in salesforce so if you want to add anything you can add it over here like by default you have post files mobile actions links polls and all if you want anything else you can add it here as well which are the quick actions let's see you want to add an email just drop it here you want to add a new task here just drop it no so this is for mobile lightning action so it's for related list so related is nothing but what all the things that are available see you have activities that you can add here see you can also add training history if you want to approval history if you have some approval process which are there see so these are all the related lists that you can actually add so you have notes and attachments and everything. So what is the use of this page layout? Basically, you'll be having a default page layout. So if you want something which is custom, like in the record types, what we have learned is we are displaying different pick list values to different users. So you now, for example, there are a few things on those pick list values where you do want them to be displayed. Say, for example, when let's come to fields, let add, let's add everything over here. Right, let's add date here you want to have a section see this is what would the normal thing that you're having but you want to create a section so let's you know, have something called a section here let's drop it here so it is asking what do we want the section name to be so we want the section name to be info there is nothing but information so it is asking us how do, how do you it want to be? Do you want it to be in a single column or do you want it to be in two columns? Do you want it to scroll from left to right or top to bottom? You no, know, you can choose whatever you want. So we have an information th uh, section here. So you can just drop in your phone there and drop in technology here. You can just drop in owner's name and last modified by, you know, things like this that which can be done here 
now let us go ahead and do something really interesting so in the previous classes in the first or the second classes you learn how to make a field mandatory so basically there are four ways of making a field mandatory that is at the time of creation of the field you can make a field mandatory by using validation rule which we will come to learn in the future classes triggers which we'll be learning in the next classes as well so now through page layout also we can make a field mandatory how do you do it it's very simple just click on this properties over here it is asking us is do you want me to make it read only or required you just put out required and press ok so you can see here it is a required field how do you identify a required field by the red bar but in the page layout you have a red star over here to make it identify that it is a required field now you can also add some custom links if you want to let's go ahead and save this thing like you can you have a quick save and you have a save let's quick save it because i've already saved it i've just saved it all right so we have seen one way of going to the page layout that is to the you know quick find box and all let's go to position click on new oh i think it's not there here let's go to fields again now let's create a new page layout again oh, this should be in training i'm sorry Let's go ahead. No ID. Oh, we have we don't have no ID. We have marketing search, right? So let's go ahead and create an MR. This thing. So in the MR, I wanted to make it pretty simple. I want everything to be there itself. I want to create. Uh, oh, let's go ahead and get the date, the record type. technology let's drop the technology last modified by right this is what i wanted to have i don't want anything else in this so let's save this thing let's go back to the home page click on new select something as you can see this is the normal page layout that we have right now so let's go ahead and implement this page layout so how do you implement the page layout click on page layout assignment edit assignments <clears throat> so here we can select what we want it so you for it you have selected it page layout for mr we go ahead and select mr simple we'll save this thing Right, going ahead, go back right now here. I don't want to disturb this page so that you know people can see those changes that are applied. So let's click on new again here. I'm going ahead with IT. I'm clicking on continue. See, there is a total different page layout over here. This is our original layout, how it is, and now this is an IT layout. Let's go ahead and open a, a market research layout as well that we have created. Click on new. Select the market research, click on OK, and see we have a total different layout. Most of the fields are you know not able to you're not able to find most of the fields here. Now let us learn a few interesting things about page layout. So I'm going to the fields again. Okay, this is a different object that I've opened. I'm sorry. Right, let's go to fields. So in the previous classes, like when it comes to your security controls and all. You know we have learned that you know when you don't have you don't give few accesses you know you are not able to view those things for example for creating something you need a new button so we have buttons here let's click on buttons and see when you don't give edit access you will be unable to find edit button here when you don't give delete access you're unable to find delete button here say for example if an interviewer asks 
say in my security controls in my profile level i have all the accesses that means that i have create edit delete and everything but when it comes to that particular page i'm unable to find the edit and delete so what might be the reason for it so the reason it is that by using page layout we have disabled those buttons we have removed those buttons so that's the reason we are unable to find it all right you can also eliminate some fields if you don't want them to be visible for example see you can just click on remove those fields will not be visible as simple as that so page layout see what one profile can have multiple record types and one record type can have multiple page layout so you can apply all these page layouts to record types because we are displaying different things to different user and one profile can have multiple record types i hope you are clear through the page layout so we'll catch up in the next session and we'll learn few more other topics thank you guys